Hey, physics. So we're going to do uh, our lab today, and we're going to do our lab on uh, friction. Mm -hmm. And Anna's going to help me here. But uh, what we have here is a 500 gram mass uh, is is put on an incline, and you can see that the, you can read the incline is set at 10 degrees. Okay. And now Anna's going to put mass over here. Uh, enough mass that eventually this will start coming up the incline okay we're going to use that information and you should of course do your free body diagrams but we're going to use that information to be able to determine the coefficient of friction for this uh, thing so go ahead and let's see how much weight we have to put on there okay so there's 50 150 250 350 and now uh, we may have cheated and done this but you'll see that the mass does start moving at 350 so 350 was the minimum mass required uh, in order to start it moving now we're going to do the whole thing thing over again I'm going to put it up to 20 this time okay and we do the whole thing over again okay we're going to uh, pull this thing up the incline somehow. Probably shouldn't have done this in between, in between, in between takes, but why not? You can see the whole thing, what we're talking about. Doing here. Okay, all right. And now we're going to put, uh, uh, see, we changed the angle to 40. It's still 500 grams here. We're going to change it uh, and see how much weight or mass we need to add over here in order to get it to start moving up the incline. 100 here, 100, 150, 250, 350, 400, 400, and oh, that's just barely enough to start her up the incline, it looks like. All right, so there you go, that's the second one. Now the third method, and we're just gonna go ahead and show you this, but you should come up with two different coefficients of friction, okay? And you can verify whether or not that coefficient of friction is the actual coefficient of friction by doing this last experiment. In this case, Anna's gonna lift up the incline until this mass starts moving at that You'll know, uh, you'll know the angle, and then you know, uh, and we'll probably show, but you can take the tangent of that angle, and it should again be the coefficient of friction. Let's see what happens, all right? Uh, oh, you've got to loosen this so you can move it. Okay, so here she goes, she's gonna lift it up, until it gets to the right angle. I think she's gonna lift it up. She's lifting it up. Okay, keep going. Uh, what was it? 27. 27 degrees. All right, at 27 degrees, it started moving. You can use that to find the coefficient of friction as well. At any rate, you should have three different methodologies for finding the coefficient of friction uh, from this little experiment, okay? Good luck, physics.